listen. That sort of leaves it up to me. Guess I'll have to recruit me an army for the Lord. With barely a squad of his military force organized, Brown led his first raid. Followed by four sons and a few other males, he moved toward Pottawatomie Creek in May 24, 1856. It was rumored that Southerners had settled there and planned to bring slaves with them. Near Dutch Henry's Crossing, Brown's band brutally murdered five men without bothering to ask them how they felt about slavery. The outpouring of outrage drove the slavery hater to Ohio and then to Canada. Still largely financed from Massachusetts, he received a fresh message, quote, from the Lord. He told me to set up a stronghold in the southern mountains, Brown announced to his followers. Slaves can come there and be safe. It will be our army base from which we will launch our campaign. for a new free state that would be carved out of Virginia and Maryland. They wanted to name Brown their president on the spot, but he modestly declined the post. For the present, he said, he had been instructed by Almighty God to serve as commander-in-chief of the new nation's army. Brown was surprised that ex-slaves didn't flock to him. Rapid 
Death Row Vision was prophetic.